Love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. Alright, today I'm going to show you how to draw fast and furious spin down shot. So now let's start this. Recently, Fast and the Furious 9 is the showing in the cinema here. It has been 20 years since the first Fast and Furious was released in 2001. Although from the first racing movie to the later action movie and now has become science fiction, fans around the world have another undiminished view of this movie. Today, I will tell you the story behind our movie. The first director of this series, Rob Cohen, saw an article called Racing Driver X in Vibe magazine one day. In 1998, the American music magazine Vibe published an article that had nothing to do with the theme of the magazine. The name of the article was Racer X. This article was written by Kenneth Lee, a reporter for New York's Daily News, and tells the story of a New York underground racer. Underground racing became popular on the streets of the United States in the 1990s. Unlike traditional track racing or rallying, underground racing are confronted with more complicated road conditions. There are not only other vehicles on the track, but also faced with police chases. Perhaps it is because the entry levels are low, or maybe because this kind of competition is more thrilling and exciting. Young people are eager for it, and many literacy works have been derived from this. In addition to movies, TV series, video games have also caught up with this trend. The famous Need for Speed was born in this trend. The protagonist of the street fighting interview is Raphael Azdivs, an underground racer who grew up watching The Dukes of Hazard, American drama about racing. Raphael had just won an underground racing competition that night. Raphael dropped out of school at the age of 16, and after dropping out, he started his career as an auto mechanic. Years of experience in car repairs have taught him about cars well and even more important about modifying cars. When underground racing in the United States first began to flourish, most people chose muscle cars like Mustangs. This type of car has strong explosive power and fast linear acceleration. Of course, the price is not cheap. Raphael didn't have that much money, so he could only choose cheap Japanese cars. After some modification, the car became completely unrecognizable and its performance increased. Compared to a muscle car, Raffle modified vehicle acceleration as well as them and has better handling. On the night of the interview, Raffle was driving a modified Honda to win the championship. Not only that, under his leadership, Japanese cars gradually occupied the mainstream of underground racing. Raffle not only has excellent car modification skills, but his driving skills are also top level. According to his little brother, Joanne Sanchez, even Raphael can still win the championship if he drives a car with a slightly poor performance. In addition to excellent modification and driving skills, Raphael is also a bold and confident guy. There are various instruments on the dashboard of the car, but the most important thing missing is a speedometer. Raphael told Neith Lee, when you know how fast you are, you will slow down. After reading this article, Cohen dug deep into this and watched a racing game in Los Angeles, which led to the idea of shooting Fast and Furious and persuaded Universal to buy the copyright of the article from the author. Now, there is a plan to shoot Fast and Furious, of course, it's still tight budget, so the leading actors can only be hired from low paid actors such as Paul Walker and Van Diesel. Paul Walker was born as a child star. He made a lot of commercials when he was a child, and he made a lot of TV shows when he grew up. He is quite famous, 
but no one remembered him in the star-studded Hollywood. Vin Diesel is better. He has participated in the famous Saving Private Ryan, but he is also a soldier in the role. At first, Universal preferred candidate was Timothy Oliphant, but he refused. So that was Dom, played by Vin Diesel. In 1967, Diesel was born in New York City. He was born with a light black, mysterious face and a deep voice. He looks more like a football player more than an actor. Diesel never met his biological father, but was raised by an African American stepfather, Owen, a theater manager and actor, and his mother was an astrologer. When he was seven years old, he and his friends decided to have fun in the theater and do some damages. But he was immediately caught by a woman who worked late at night. Fortunately, instead of calling the police, he gave each of them a script and twenty dollars on the condition that they must show up here after school every day. From there, Diesel's acting career began to improve from New York trip run by his stepfather. Diesel has been working in the theater during his childhood. He wanted to give up high school for his dream of becoming a Hollywood actor. However, In his father's opinion, he changed his mind and decided to finish his studies. He already had a very good physique at the age of 17 and became a bodyguard for some New York clubs. At this time, he changed his name to Vin Diesel. After graduating from high school, he was admitted to Hunter College, where he majored in English screenwriting. After studying at the academy for three years, he decided to leave the academy to make his own film. So he rushed to Los Angeles with the belief that he could immerse himself in his art world as a theater actor. But as an experienced theater actor, he did not impress people in Los Angeles. A year later, he went to do telemarketing work. After successful telemarketing work, Diesel decided to return to New York to continue his work as a bodyguard and start creating his own short film. He started to write the script for his first film, but he had no direction. And a year later, he was unable to operate his plan due to insufficient funds. However, Van Diesel's creative talents began to show up at this time. And based on his own experience, he wrote a short film and participated in a performance called "Man with a Thousand Faces," multi-facial. This film participated in the Cannes Film Festival and won an award. So he was appreciated by the great director Steven Spielberg, and invited him to participate in the performance of the war film Saving Private Ryan. After starring in the Fast and Furious series of movies, he became a Hollywood star. After the release of Fast and Furious in 2001, it catered to the popular car culture at the time. Especially the setting of underground racing, which made many audiences around the world excited, so that the global investment was only 38 million USD, but the final box office was 207 million dollars. It is precisely because of this high rate of return that there was a plan for sequel, but it is estimated that this sequel will eventually become one of the hottest IPs in Hollywood. The first part of the series released in 2001. Including Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, Tomb Raider, and Ocean's Eleven, this year is indeed the starting point for many adventures, either magical or epic, about thieves. But today, 20 years later, these adventures have come to an end one by one, and only the story of Fast and Furious is still being written. In the past two decades, the film industry has undergone tremendous changes. Superhero movies under Marvel and DC have occupied almost all of the market. The only thing that competes with it is Fast and Furious series. In the first Fast and Furious, the protagonists are nothing more than a group of street racing parties. The top technology is nothing more than nitrogen acceleration. The main action scenes are nothing more than street racing, and most of the scenes are just linear acceleration. Even in Fast and Furious 3, it just added some drifting and cornering shots. However, starting from Fast and Furious 4, the entire series has developed in the direction of a blockbuster action film. The original state street modified cars were completely replaced by luxury sports cars and super racing cars. Some military vehicles, such as armored vehicles and tanks, even began to appear. The protagonists 
have also changed from street gangsters to global counter-strike teams. At the same time, Fast and Furious also tells us a truth. The bold head is the guarantee of excellent car skills and the only object favored by the protagonist Halo. I personally like the fifth and the seventh part of the series the most. Can you leave a comment below and tell us which part is your favorite? This time we can't view series 9 in the cinema due to the lockdown in pandemic. I hope you can go to the cinema and support it. Our painting of Vendizo is pretty awesome, so please subscribe to us if you like it, and see you next time.